The competitiveness of a steelworks is to a large extent driven by the cost and volume. Um, the, the team out there is doing excellent work to get cost out uh, and we're making really good progress uh, and in the last six to seven months we've taken significant cost out which is a, which is a really good um, a performance and something that we, we are very proud of. The other part of a, of a steelworks like this is that you have to get the volume through. Um, so, and volume is driven by demand. So, if we get the demand, we can get the volume through, we can get the utilization of the plant up, and that is, that is critical. This specific project will drive that demand up. So, 72, 73,000 tons of rail over a two and a half year period. It will have a significant impact on the utilization of the steel products as well as the rail finishing end, which is an important part of the plant. We've mobilized a team at Port Augusta, which is where the rail is going to be assembled, and recruited about 25 locals currently and another 10 or 15 to come. And we're also you know, really pleased what this will do for over the next couple of years in terms of our business and our customers. It'll allow us to provide much more reliability to the operation, but also to run heavier trains. I mean, this will increase axle loads up to 25 tonnes axle load, which means you know we can put more, more product on each of the trains and just get more efficiency. So we're really pleased and really happy to be here today and it's been a great effort so far. So I'd like to pass on my thanks to everybody involved. I think everyone can be rightfully proud for the product we produce and, and similarly how quickly everyone's mobilised to, uh, to get this product to market. And secondly, I think the other point that's important is the jobs this will produce in the region. Uh, we've put on 10 people uh, to produce this product and similarly a quarter of a billion dollar investment project in a region uh, is, is really important. It's a $252 million package over the package of rail over, over the three years and I think it's a pretty strong indication the federal government is very, very well involved with the process of making sure the still works continue forward. I think the message to the Waila community is that uh, keep your chin up. Uh, we, we are really here for the long haul uh, and that everybody is putting their shoulder to the wheel uh, to make sure that we get a good outcome. This today is significant and I'd say to the rest of Australia, please see what's happening here today and come and get your steel from us. <laughs> I hope that this is the first of many projects like this.